Most of the time you see package designs for snacks, food and other products like this one on the screen. And you get curious about how to make such package design for your product advert or even for your client. In this video you will learn how to make such package design for your advert and for your client easily with your smartphone. To do this design you are going to need a smartphone and these two applications. So one of the applications you are going to need I will mention it to you, one of them is going to be Pixel Lab, the other one is going to be Pick Art. So you, you're going to need these two applications, so the link will be available in the video description. So you open your Pixel Lab, you go to image size, you set the size like this, where you see me going to do it on the screen. So you, no, 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 not that, you change the size, the weight is going to be 980 and the height is going to be 1280 so remember that as the video goes you understand why i did that so the next thing you're going to bring out your ruler then you set it the way you see it on the screen so that is that you adjust your ruler like that so this video you, for you to get this uh, package design stuff you need to watch the video till the end so that you understand it so to skip the video uh, it's your own business depend on what you want to learn so before you do that you first before you make the design design so that is why we, we are going to adjust the ruler like this you adjust the ruler this way and you go to background color you're going to change the background color to a blue color this is a blue this is a default blue color in pixel lab so if you have pixel lab you always find that blue color but for the other colors i'm going to show you their value so the next thing you put your word, the name of the product you want to package it can be anything like okay. After that, you are going to change the font of yeah, you, you change the font. But this font, to, the link will be available in the video description. You see, you want to change it. Let me look for the font to use. No, no, no. You see, this is pure practice I'm just sharing what I know with you so that you understand all these things so okay, that's why you see me searching for font okay let me use that font the font don't worry about the name I will leave it in the video description so you change your text color you're going to use a red color this is the value of the red the, the color code is F44 it's on the screen there I'll leave it in the video description also if you want it so but you can use any color depending on what on what a product you're designing it for so you will go to stroke you enable your stroke see the color value there the color code there you make sure your stroke weight should be around 20 or 21 so that is that you rotate your text a little i hope you're watching it and just the way you see me doing it on the screen at the purpose of the tutorial anna so Adjust you after you make your adjustment. You what the next thing you're going to do, you make a copy of that same text, then you edit it. So, by writing this, the name of your product or brand, so you see now Wakanda cheese. Yeah, I'm designing this, I'm designing this, uh, this package, this product package for a Wakanda cheese. So you you do auto rot you rotate your text, you make your adjustment, you go to movement button, you make your necessary move, make sure it's at the position you want it to be. And the next thing you're going to do, you, you lock the layers. So I always say that always lock your layers whenever you're working. Then you go and you insert uh, a, a image, a photo, of a cheese or whatever. So if you want to make this exactly, you can. You know, I'll leave the image in the video description, the image link in the video description. But if you're designing it for a client, you make sure that you take photos of that product the client is 
use it is packaging so but for this for sharing of ideas on the rest I just I just got a cheese image from online so you can search them online also but if you want it I'll leave it in the video description the link will be available there and this year when you go there again you insert another cheese image so and this one has a background so how do we remove this background and by now you guys you know how to use your background eraser So, like I always say, lock your layers so that you don't move things around. You don't scatter your work. So, in, if you are done with any of any image or any shape, you just lock the layer of that, or any text, you just lock the layer. So, you put your cheese there. I hope you're watching. I hope you're learning something different from this video. So, that is how you put it. You put that there. Next thing we're going to bring in is a text again. And on this text, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Like this text, we're going to put a net weight of the product or whatever. So, You put net weight is eight gram. Yeah, as you go. Whenever you are designing it for a client, make sure you have to tell the client to give you the net weight of the products. So, and if you are designing it for yourself, you can measure the weight and you put you put it on the other. I'll increase the size. You adjust the size of the text a little. Maybe you put nine, ten, or eleven. Then you move. You use your movement button to arrange it. So you see. See, you see where I'm, I'm placing it in the video now. See where I'm placing these things. Look at the ruler. Then this image, this recycle image and other stuff about product packaging. I will, I'll be leaving the, video, the, link, the link of the image in the video description. But if you, if you want to get more of this image, all of them from online and any of the image or I'll be using in this, in this video, I'll be leaving the link in the video description. Like I say, check Assign Graphics, you see videos of how you can download mock-up image and other related image for your graphics. So, you adjust the weight, the size of the image, then you position it under that line of the, of the ruler. Now you see why I put the ruler there. Don't worry, very soon when we started putting this design on the package, you will understand why that ruler has been there. So the next thing, we need a background for this uh, our product. So just bring in this white shape oh, you lock you check around you lock the layer you are not using you bring in this white shape you make a duplicate and you change the color to a red color so like i said i'm going to be leaving the color code in the video description so from this video i'll be leaving every every color i'll be using i'll be leaving your code in the video description so you don't get in the dark so now you adjust the size of the shape Make sure they are the same like then you make the two shape together the two circle shape the white and the red shape together you increase the size then you adjust it to the way you see me doing it on the screen then you go you send it the back of the entire layer so it will be at the back of your design now you see how it is you make your adjustment make sure you do something that uh, Will fit to your screen so next thing you're going to do you're going to bring in a white uh, square shape you adjust it to cover your screen width and the rest too you position it at the other side of the ruler that is the top side of the ruler line now you understand why don't worry when we say you save your image first you save this image to gallery and the next thing we are going to do, you go to layer. Then on the, in the layer section there, you're going to merge the cheese and the text. The cheese and the text, you merge the layers together. You leave the net width there. You, rem you remove the other 
uh, square shape like no you you, you hide the other square shape you inside the last square shape you insert it then you drag and you adjust it i hope you're watching it i hope you, you're seeing what i'm doing you make your adjustment like this that wakanda cheese uh layer you're going to make a duplicate of that but before you do that you make the layer of the that's that's uh, the last uh, the, the, sick, the red and white circle shape layer you're going to adjust the size and you make the adjustment like this more video will be coming up on this channel how to do other packages for chocolate and the rest these are sign graphics i promise you in the future that you are going to see more more tutorial about graphic design but packaging and the rest so you adjust your ruler you see the way i'm adjusting the ruler you set your ruler make sure you adjust your ruler this way you do this setting it is going to help you when you're doing the full packaging now you bring in your text you're going to insert any any text you want like Maybe I've just seen package where they will tell you that you put ingredients and the level of stuff used to create those packages. So if the client have this uh, write up, you can collect it from the from the client and you insert it this way. You see me doing it on the screen. But since I'm doing it for a tutorial, I'm sharing my idea with you. I'm just going to put that if you want this type of package design, if you contact Assign Graphics, so. This one I'm going to be using Geomanis. I will be leaving it in the video. This the link in the video description. Set your alignment. Set it to central, like uh, alignment to central alignment there, like that. Then you make adjustment to your. You, you make a duplicate of that text net weight. After that, you adjust the size a little. Then you edit it. And put the contact of the of the brand or the client that want the package. I want you. They want you to package. They want you to design the package for them. All the products you will want. You put the contact here. So for the purpose of the tutorial and for the purpose of the uh, lesson, I will just put my own phone number. This is my personal number. You can contact me with this number on WhatsApp. Or even call me with this number and I will pick your call and you can ask me any question I will definitely answer you so you adjust the size of that text there after that you just adjust the size of the text because I'm not using stylus pen I'm using my finger it's taking me time to do some adjustments so you go to movement button you are you move it manually I make a copy of that uh, Wakanda cheese uh, image you made. You place it the way you see me doing it on the screen. Then you save this image now. Make sure you use the ultra quality to save your image so that whenever you're doing the packaging, you next thing you open your pick at. You open your pick at, you see the background there. You insert the white, but plain background. Then you go to crop. You're going to crop your image to three by four so next thing you do you're going to insert this uh mock-up package which i will which uh, this is a package uh, mock-up image which i'll be leaving the video the link in the video description because it will be a great help to you this is the image i will insert it it's a plain image Alright, so the, the, the link to this image will be in the video description. You adjust it the way you see me doing it on the screen. You OK it. The next thing you go again, you insert an image. So the first image you are going to use will be the first design. That is the front of the package. You bring it in. After you bring it in, you adjust it the way you see me doing it on the screen. Then you go to blend mode. This blend mode, you're going to use overlay. Immediately use overlay, you see. You see what you see where our design is heading to. You make your adjustment now. You see why I put the net weight and the other. Uh, I use the ruler to measure, to measure the other stuff in the design now. 
go to blend mode, you, you uh, select overlay, then you OK it. Then, wow, your product is the brand is being packaged. I want I will zoom it so that you see it very well. You see, so there is no no hard feelings about it. That is how I did it. You go, you, you go to you save, save your image, then you start a new background again. That is a white colored background. Then you go to your pick art. In the last video, I show you how you can insert this white color background in pick art. So you go to crop again. Into in the tool section, then you go to the crop size is going to be three by two. Then you insert the second package image. That is the back of the package. The one that has this line beside it. You see, I'll be leaving all this image in the video description. You feel free to ask me how I got to design these images or how I got these images. Feel free to ask me. I'll be leaving my phone number in the video description. I insert the other uh, design now. After that, you, you go to blend mode again. You're going to select the same overlay blend mode. Then you adjust the size of the product like this. I'll be update your design. You see it now. Now we have gotten a product design. You understand how this is being done with your smartphone, like I said. When you watch the video till the end, you understand this. Then you see, I did it very, very, very clean. It's awesome and feel free to ask any question about how come about this design and the race. So don't forget the channel is here. If you want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. You hit the notification button so that you all never miss any tutorial. So um, I just want to take a zoom around it for you so that you see how our product package has been designed with our smartphone. Like I say, you use Peak Art and Pixel Lab to make this kind of design. Thank you for watching you can see this is how i get to achieve these designs like this and other designs i achieved it through the same step thank you for watching assign graphics